Well, he may not be the Energizer buddy, but he's still going and going. This little guy uh, comes down around Christmas at our house. Uh, my uh, wife pulls him down and lets the grandchildren play with him. Uh, we've had him for years. I don't know exactly how long, but it's been a long while. Uh, the grandkids found him the other day and brought him down and pressed the button, and he started singing and dancing away. That got me wondering what kind of batteries are still in it and what sort of shape are they in. So let's uh, let's have a look. I'll, uh, let's see, what do I need to get in there? It looks like I do need a screwdriver. Let's get a screwdriver. Oops. If I can get him to quit singing and dancing. Let's see. Okay, so let's see what we got. Well, there's batteries in there. They're definitely not Duracell batteries. They are, in fact... Toshiba alkaline batteries. Let's pull them out and see whether or not there's any leakage and see if we can figure out sort of how old they are. Make sure it's focused there. Let me get you back in focus. Okay, they're all Toshibas. <clears throat> Let's get them organized. And look inside. I see no corrosion of any sort on any of the terminals of the toy. So that's a good sign. Now let's set him back here. Let's look at the batteries. Okay, so here are the four Toshiba AA alkalines that were in there. And as you can see, on the negative side, there is no sign whatsoever of corrosion. Now let's look at the uh, positive side. Not surprisingly, there's no corrosion there either. So let's look at, see if we can figure out when these batteries uh, were either made or when their expiration date is. Uh, let's see. There's nothing really printed there. Oh, there, there it is. It's, uh, it's printed up at the top of the battery. Let's see if we can get it visible. It says 012006. Let's let me verify that that's true for all these. There's number one. Here's number two. 012006. Let's look at the third one. Third one is. Uh, Also zero one of two zero zero six and the fourth one also zero one of two zero zero six. Okay, so the date today is the fourteenth of July, uh, twenty twenty two. So if these batteries were made in uh, two thousand six, uh, that would make them twelve plus uh, four. It'd be sixteen years old. Or they're either 16 years old or they're out of date 16 years, uh, one, one or the other. But in any case, they're not leaking. They're made by Toshiba. Oh, now the next question is, where are they made? So let's see if we can figure that one out. Uh, awfully fine print there, and it's a lot of Japanese or uh, Asian alphabet characters, which, of course, I can't read. Toshiba battery. Oh, let's see. Hard to see. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let me get that up here in English and see if you can read it. Made in Japan. So there's a, another example uh, of the fact that alkaline batteries can be made so that they don't leak. Uh, I've had numerous pieces of electronic equipment that I've purchased over the decades made in uh, Japan or elsewhere uh, and in, in Asia and uh, particularly in Japan and I can't say that I've ever had one of the batteries that came with them leak and they, they've always been uh, Japanese brands of one uh, sort or another. Now I believe these are the original batteries that came in this thing. I don't recall ever putting new batteries in it, 
I certainly don't ever recall having purchased any Toshiba batteries. I don't even know where you'd find a Toshiba battery. Uh, so it's, as I said, it's just an example that, that somebody uh, at Duracell is making a decision to make the batteries in such a way as to allow them to leak. What their motivation is, well, I'll leave that for you to decide. I just know that you cannot, or I, I have discovered that I cannot count on having Duracell batteries uh, last in any equipment up to their due date. Uh, I have them leak in the package, as I've shown in other videos earlier in this series. And it's, uh, it's unfortunate that the uh, vaunted Duracell uh, trade name is being so denigrated by the poor quality and the damage that it does to equipment. And I've mentioned before that on one occasion I did attempt to get uh, recompense from Duracell, and it proved to be such a cumbersome, time-wasting uh, uh, task that I just bagged it and ate the fact and just decided ultimately that I'm done with Duracell batteries. So I don't buy them anymore. And uh, uh, note to Warren, Warren Buffett, uh, the chairman of Berkshire Hathaway Company, which I understand is the, uh, the owner of Duracell, you need to drop a solution to this from a great height. It is just an engineering problem. It is solvable. These batteries do not have to leak. Uh, and you're, you're doing uh, great damage to people's equipment and to the Duracell reputation. And uh, uh, by way of that, uh, you're doing damage to the reputation of Berkshire Hathaway. So if anybody else has had similar experiences with their Duracell batteries, I'd be delighted to hear about it. Uh, and if you have any comments, please, uh, please post, uh, post it below. Thanks a lot.